Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Iowa State versus Baylor college football matchup on Saturday, September 24th, 2022. Of course, it's my favorite day of the week during my favorite time of the year, College Football Saturday. Here on YouTube, I do tons of free pick videos, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. We do free picks every day, SportsChatPlace.com, PickDogs.com, right here on YouTube as well as across social media and our live shows. And when you give out that many free picks, you're bound to like some games more than others. And to find out which games those are, as well as to get best bets from some of the top handicappers in the world today, head on over to our website, pickdogs.com. Click on the premium picks tab. And while you're there, be sure to use the discount code WIN15. That's W-I-N-1-5. Get 15% off all of your purchases at sportschatplace.com and pickdogs.com. But let's get to this Big 12 matchup. Iowa State taking on Baylor. Two very good teams. Baylor Two and one, though, on the season coming into this one. And Iowa State, three and oh. Iowa State's beaten some heavy hitters, too, along the way. And pretty looked, looked really good against Iowa. Putting points on the board hasn't been something that's been easy for them. But, you know, at the same time, when you play defense the way that Iowa State does, well, you don't need to put that many points on the board. And for Baylor, Dave Aranda, certainly one of the up-and-coming head coaches. And while I believe that he plays it almost a little bit too conservative with the running game sometimes, well, that's probably what he feels are his best parts of his team and where he feels that, you know, in crunch time or out of crunch time or in, over the course of the game, that putting the ball in the hands of his running backs is his best bet and you know these you know college football head coaches even a guy like Aranda you know every day day <laughs> week to week these guys are involved and focused and I think that you know Aranda certainly is that guy and I think if there is any outside noise surrounding some of his game plan and some of his play calling especially that you know in in that loss um I don't think he hears it you know because he just doesn't seem like that kind of guy in fact probably buzz about him, you know, going to the NFL at some point as well. And he probably doesn't hear that either. And his agent probably calls him to tell him, you know, this, that, other thing. He probably doesn't answer the phone. He just seems like one of those really good football coach guys. Matt Campbell on the other side for, uh, for Iowa State has been one of the best unknown commodities in the nation for a few years at this point. You know, Iowa State was a doormat team for a long time before this guy got there. And, you know, while they haven't been winning the Big 12, they certainly have been beating a lot of the big boys in that conference. And they certainly have been taking care of business and have been a bowl team every single year under Campbell as well. This guy, you know, probably headed for greener pastures at some point. I'm just not sure what those pastures might be whether it be an SEC school or whether it be an NFL job or whether it be one of the high profile you know, programs in the country, more than likely if he wants one of those jobs, it will be available for him in the future. This is going to be a great game. And for me, as a better of sports, this is one that I probably am going to be on the sidelines of because the game figures to be very, very close, hard hitting. And really, it's going to be decided by a bounce, a field goal, a call, something like that because it's going to be super tight. And when you look at this line, we're not even getting a field goal to work with here. But the thing is, with the new overtime rules, when you're getting two, better than two points, so like two and a half or better, if the game goes to overtime and it can get past that second overtime, well, you're automatically a winner. It's like betting the over. And I think getting that with Baylor in this game, which basically to me looks like a coin flip, I'm going to take Baylor in the points, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks today, putting your bets bets in be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com our betting tools are 100 percent free and the way they work they show you just how often all the bets on the board today actually hit then they show you today's odds and from there you can easily determine the risk reward putting yourself on the bets that come in the most often and pay the most and that's how you make money betting on sports